Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good this weekend. So it is a lot going on right now on social media. If you guys do not know, right now, Lil Boosie and his daughter, uh, Tori, are currently trending all over social media. And they're trending because she went off on Lil Boosie today. Now, this kind of surprised me because I remember just a few weeks ago, it was about eight weeks ago, this was back in May, he threw this lavish Sweet 16 birthday party. He posted on social media. He gifted her this $40,000 pink Mercedes Benz. And of course, honey, all of the comments were, oh, you know, Boosie, one thing about Boosie, he going to take care of them kids. Boosie don't play when it comes to his kids. Boosie stay looking out for his kids. Because again, unfortunately, a lot of people think that just, you know, being materialistic and looking out for kids monetarily equates being a good father. But, you know, he was praised heavily on social media for throwing her this party. And I'm not going to lie, honey, the party was lit. I mean, it looked like it was everything. She looked beautiful. She had on her little feathery dress and everything. Um, it was turned up. All her siblings was there. I mean, they was having a good old funky time. I'm like, damn, I guess my invite got lost in the mail, honey. So I just watched like everybody else online. And I thought it was nice. I thought it was really dope that he threw her a really nice sweet 16. And everyone looked like they were having a good time. So I want y'all to go ahead and check out these videos from Tori's birthday party just eight weeks ago. Check this out. <laughs> So you guys just saw those videos. So now we fast forward eight weeks later and things done changed. Okay. So Toriana Hatch is his daughter. She's 16. Now she goes by the name Tori Pressure on Instagram. And so she took to social media and this is what she wrote. She says, who gives their daughter a car and takes it back? On top of that, give her a color that she don't even like because you're not a father enough to remember little shit about your own daughter. Niggas took the car back just because I left from ATL to help my mom who damn near lost her life in a car wreck. But that's y'all's favorite rapper though. I can really run it how he a bitch. Nigga don't want me to air it out. And that's not my daddy. He don't deserve the title. You a fan or a supporter of him, get the fuck off my page. I don't fuck around. Every time I try to give this nigga the benefit of the doubt or give him a chance to be a dad, he fuck it up. So yeah, that's no longer my father, dad, dad, daddy. All that shit's dead. Don't label me as no boosie daughter. Fuck a nigga. Then she says, don't no hoe running my blood. My mama blood run out through me like she damn near made me herself. 
Torrance is just a sperm donor. That ain't my father. Don't act like one never did. Only acted like one when he knew props was going to be given or just for social media. Oh, social media loving ass. I hate niggas. Then she says, forever blessed. I ain't tripping out about a thing. Nigga just showing his true colors as always. Then she goes on to state, I don't care about all that. You need to not post this. People want to see you down. Wooty woo. None of that fazed me because, okay, yeah, I'm mad because that was my car. But it's the fact that the nigga's supposed to be a father. But nigga never had a father to be one, so I understand. But still, don't front on social media or to people like you the father of the year because you not. It's niggas with no money and they're a better father than you. I never was big on him having money or materialistic shit, so him being a loss is nothing to me. He's been a bitch and gonna stay a bitch. Really mad at myself for giving him another chance to be a dad. He a hoe and gonna stay a hoe, and that's why he'll never be labeled as my father because don't know hoe running my blood. Fuck wrong. Then she ended up posting the picture of the car. So as you guys see, the car was a bubblegum pink. And then she painted it to a really dark shade of blue. And she says, nigga wanted me to ride around in an old bubblegum ass car and got mad because I changed it. Bitch, it ain't my fault. You got homophobia. Then she says, nigga gonna give his bitch the world and can't even support his own kids. Old tender dick love stutting for the gram ass nigga. I could really air boo shit out. But I'm going to be humble, LOL, before I tarnish a nigga's career. Then she goes on to say this. When my older siblings got their car, their mom's name was on it. He made sure his was on mine so he could take it back. So all that child support shit, not the reason. He been waiting on a reason to take it since I changed my color. And that's the last thing I'm going to say about it. Fuck nigga. Then she said, I ain't disrespectful. I'm finally speaking up. Don't give a fuck how you look at it. Wipe your tears. I ain't respecting a nigga who ain't respecting me. He's never respecting me, so fuck a nigga. And I'm well taken care of. Nigga must have forgot when he went to jail who took care of me. Then she says, thanks for the encouraging words. No, I don't cry. And no, I'm not hurt. I'm numb to him hurting me as a dad. Been going through this shit with him for years. I'm numb to this shit now. Nah. I eat everything up that hurt me. Mom raised me well. So then Boosie takes to her page while she's live and he writes the following. He says, tell the truth. Your mom's just put me on child support. That's how that go. You know what she did and you was in on it with her. Take your lick and wipe your tears. So when he wrote that, she took to Instagram live and she went off. So I want y'all to go ahead and watch this clip. Did a nigga come in and talk about some wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Woo the woo. Do it look like I've been crying, my nigga? I ain't been crying. You just a bitch. You gonna stay one. Then one thing a nigga ain't finna do is finna inst I don't even Instagram beef a host the fuck up like Instagram beefing with a nigga who about to be 40. Or something, something like that, cause he lied about his age so much. They don't wanna hit it, ain't that still your daddy? Who do they did? Ain't my daddy, he's a bitch, per bitch. That shit not in my blood, never been. No ho ever beat me up. Yeah, none of no ho never knock me out. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, dunk sheep. Ain't nobody ever beat me up. Yeah, yeah, let's talk about it. Fuck wrong. All right, honey. So y'all just heard what she said. So then after that, she ended up posting like these Bible scriptures and she wrote, period what he say and she's quoting you know john and matthew and jeremiah psalms you know and that's cute you know people love to you know bring up the bible but i'm gonna say this also in the bible it also says honor your father and your mother so you can live a lot longer on this earth so you know if we're gonna quote bible scriptures let's not forget that one too now let me say this as a parent um her the way she's talking to him is very just ugh. It makes me cringe. You know, I would hate for any of my children to talk to me like that in private or especially in public on social media, right? And, I mean, I see a lot of people going in on her and saying she's ungrateful, she's entitled. And, yeah, she may be. You know, a lot of kids in this generation have a sense of entitlement. You know, that's just what it is. But do you know what else I see with this little girl? I also see hurt. I see hurt. And I think, you know, I got to keep it real. Little Boosie, I believe, has about eight children, by, and I believe by eight different women. Maybe it's six, but I think all his kids are by a different woman. 
And I have been saying this for years that, you know, so many of these men, not only on social media, but, you know, in the real world, in the hood, they think that it's okay to go around just having children by any woman that's willing to open their legs, you know, any woman that they're courting. And what they don't realize is that eventually these babies grow up. Because, see, all these children being in different households, when you're only one man, you can only spend so much time with each child. So it might be cute when they're first born because they can't talk, they don't know the difference. But by the time they start to be aware when they're playing basketball and they look up and their daddy's not there or they're at the dance recital at school and they look up and their father's not there or they're, you know, putting on a play and their father's not there because he's at another child's home and he's running the streets doing him, it starts to eat away at children. This little girl is hurt. She's angry. Do I agree that she should be on social media telling all her business and talking to her father like he's somebody in the street? No, because I'm big on kids being respectful. But I understand her anger and her frustration because at the end of the day, his response tells me everything I need to know. When he responded back to her, first of all, you are the adult, you are the parent. I'm not responding back to my child via social media. As a parent, he needs to be flying his ass to where his daughter is at, driving there, and we need to be having a conversation off of social media. When I read his response, I didn't see where he said she was out partying. She was missing curfew. Uh, she wasn't being respectful. She was, you know, abusing the fact that he got her a car. None of that was written in his response. He says, tell the truth. Your mom put me on child support. And you was in on it with her. He's upset at the mother putting him on child support. So then he takes the gift that he gifted his child publicly on social media, because, again, this was none of our business. He could have privately gave her a gift and kept it moving. But he made a show of it, and then he takes it back from her, and she reacts. She blows up. She gets angry. What does her mom putting her, what does her mother putting you on child support have to do with you taking back her gift? At the end of the day, she's a minor child. If the mother feels like you need to be paying more to support her, then so be it. You chose to have all these different children by different women. And that is part of the deal. When you have all these children, you have to financially support them. So the fact that he's all of a sudden mad and taken out on her says a lot. Because, again, he didn't say that she was acting up or she was out there, you know, driving drunk or, you know, acting a fool with this new car that he got her. He's mad about child support. So instead of going over there and trying to talk to your baby, you're chastising her about child support. And if you know anything about the backstory with Tori, with Tori's mother and Boosie, they've had all types of court battles. And it's sad that they're using her, both parents, as a pawn at this point. But this is the issue, is that Boosie has not been there for this little girl. Why? Because if he was actually there instead of just buying her a, a Mercedes Benz, instead of just, you know, throwing her a party, if he was actually there in her life consistently, she wouldn't have responded the way that she responded. She talked to him like he was nobody, like he was somebody on the street. You get that type of response from a child when you are not in that child's life, when you have not been a parent to that child, when you have not properly reared that child. She talks just like how he be talking on Vlad TV on the couch. It's sad. I see a lot of hurt from this child. And this is why I will always stand by what I say about men like Boosie and be a young boy in Nick Cannon. All they're doing is creating all of these broken homes. And like I said, Nick thinks it's cute right now because a majority of his children are under the age of five. But once those kids get older and they start seeing that daddy can't be here because he's over there, daddy can't be where it counts because he has to work and take care of all these children that he had no business having back to back by multiple different women in multiple different households, then it, then it will hit these men. And I just think it's just really, really sad. If you are going to be a father, you need to be a full-time father. And you need to stop having multiple children that you cannot take care of and that you cannot properly rear. Because children do not care about gifts. They're nice, thank you, but they want those memories. They want that time. They want that energy. They want that love. That is what this little girl is hurt about. She's saying that she's numb to the pain. He has disappointed her time and time again. And then he tries to make up for it by being a social media father and giving her gifts. 
But obviously, that's not making up for the hurt and the abandonment. So I just think this whole situation is sad. Again, I don't agree with how she's talking at all because at the end of the day, she's a, she's a child. So she is being very disrespectful, but I think that she's at her wit's end. So instead of him replying back to her on Instagram like he's a fan, go to your daughter, Boosie. Go and have a conversation with your daughter. Go hug her. Let her know that you love her. Spend some time with her and let her know it is not her fault. Whatever issues you have with her mother, that has nothing to do with the child. Be a parent. You can't pick and choose what child you want to be close with. And, you know, people love to keep saying, Boosie, you know, he's a great father. He One thing he going to do is take care of his kids. Okay, financially. What about emotionally? What about spiritually? What about discipline? You got his other son out here smoking weed, acting a fool, going back and forth with Charleston White. That was a few months ago. Now you have his other daughter out here cussing him out like he's just a, a stranger on the street. So it's bigger than just spoiling your kids and buying them gifts. It's bigger than just flashing cash at them and buying them cars. You actually have to raise them to be healthy, stable human beings. So this entire situation is just really sad to me. I just hope and pray that they get it together. And I hope that he sees the error of his ways as a parent. Again, parenting is not easy. It does not come with the handbook, you know, and especially when you have so many different kids and different households and they're being raised by different women and different energies. It's hard. But this is why I say to young people, Learn from the mistakes of other people so that way you're not destined to repeat them. So every young boy that happens to run across this video and watch this video, let this be a lesson. Don't find yourself in a situation like little Boosie, Nick Cannon, NBA young boy, where you have a bunch of baby mama drama, you're dealing with a bunch of child support, you can't see your kids. Before you go and you get a woman pregnant, make sure that woman is worthy of being a mother. Make sure she's worthy of raising your child. You not understand relationships in people break up, people divorce, but is that person worthy of being a parent? Don't be out here just knocking up every chick that you see, because then you end up in these situations where you yourself are a rolling stone doing nothing but creating broken homes and shattered dreams. So I just, you know, I just feel really bad for her. I think she's just extremely hurt. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, she probably does have entitlement issues. A lot of these kids do. But that doesn't negate the fact that her father is using her as a pawn to get back at the mother. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. I look forward to reading y'all's comments. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation concerning Lil Boosie and his daughter, you know, basically blowing up on him on social media. How do y'all feel about this situation? Do you feel like at this point Tori is doing too much and she's very disrespectful? Or do you feel like she's hurt and that's why she's lashing out? And do you agree with me that a lot of these men need to stop creating these broken homes and stop having so many children by so many different women that they cannot properly rear, raise, and discipline? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll talk to y'all later. Enjoy your weekend. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the Lovely TV Show, bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the Lovely TV Show, be sure to share, like, and subscribe.